with Battle Drill 6. I know it's been a long time since y'all seen me post. We had a lot going on, um, job changes, actually started several new businesses and uh, kind of working through different avenues there. And uh, so it, anyways, it's just been a lot going on since I posted, I actually got married. Um, but uh, anyways, I wanted to start this year off right, get some good new content out there for y'all. And so we're gonna do a quick uh, new, this, this is my new range bag. And so we're gonna kind of go over some of that stuff. Um, and then how I like this range bag as well as what I'm carrying in it now. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to let y'all know is that I have a new channel out. Actually, my, uh, my wife and I are working on one called Ironside Ranch, uh, where we're kind of going through and documenting the process of our homestead here. Some of the things that we're going through with animals, uh, getting things set up for, you know, bees for honey and, and, and what have you that, that actually go with running a small hobby farm. Um, <clears throat> and then how we're trying to use that to produce kind of a side source of income. Um, and so we, we have that new channel. If y'all are interested in that, jump over there to Ironside Ranch. Um, I'll put the link down into the description for the channel. We haven't started our website yet. We do have a blog, uh, blog site coming out here and it starts in about two weeks, two or three weeks. And uh, so we'll have that for y'all. So if you have some interest, uh, my wife does a lot of writing. So um, if anybody has any interest with stuff like that, uh, please jump over there. You, you guys might enjoy that. <clears throat> but other than that, let's go ahead and jump right into the range bag. All right, so we'll try to move this around a little bit. So here on the range bag, you can see this is a competitive, a competitive edge dynamic range bag. Um, this is basically one of the backpack variants of range bags out there. This one seems to be a pretty good quality bag. I've really enjoyed it. They are not sponsored or anything like that. They didn't send me this for free. I paid for this. Um, I actually got it as a Christmas gift. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's been a very, very good bag. Um, I didn't think I would enjoy the backpack style bag that much after having one. I can't even imagine going back to, a, to an over the shoulder one. Just because when you're at the range as much as I am, um, you end up carrying a bunch of crap around. Having a backpack one really saves on your back. Um, and so it's a, just a much better option. There's lots of ability to organize in this without having too many pockets. Too many pockets seems to be a detraction on a lot of bags uh, and it can be kind of annoying. So out here, I just have a quick fix tool, uh, just a little screwdriver. Uh, they have some extra straps on here as far as for attaching other stuff to. I don't really use all that. I don't like carrying it that much, I guess, with me. Uh, up here, they have a little admin pouch for putting pencils and a uh, notepad, uh, which I do use just specifically for doing competitions and stuff. Uh, you can carry some spare batteries, cameras, um, different uh, flash cards for your camera and that sort of thing up there. Um, and it's got little pockets in there. Yeah, I can't really show you. <clears throat> um, but anyways, if you guys are doing competitions or doing any timing, uh, being able to, to actually write those scores down is beneficial. Then you open up here to your main compartment. Um, and the main compartment you can see here on the lid, it's got the organization flaps there, which are pretty nice for, for getting your, you know, keeping your bug repellent and your, um, I've got frog lube in there, a pack of band-aids and a bore scope. Uh, <clears throat> you can see in here, I just you don't need that in there. Uh, got your mag caddies in here. Um, comes with another uh, brass pouch for, for y'all that reload. This is from actually from the old range bag, but it does come with one. Um, then I've got my eye pro in there, my hearing protection, another thing of uh, lubricant for my firearms. Uh, <clears throat> got a range tool. Pretty sure I did a review on this. Um, so if y'all haven't seen one of these, let me pull this out of here. Uh, this is the uh, the gun tool, um, and uh, who makes it? Uh, Real avid, uh, whoever. Um, anyway. This gun tool, this is actually a really, really useful tool. So if y'all don't have one of those, I'd highly recommend getting one to keep in your range bag. I do I do keep a, uh, a little brush cleaning set over there. Um, and then I've got some more things like batteries and stuff like that over here that I keep in, that I keep inside here. Um, <clears throat> as well as my snap caps and uh, some, some hearing protection. <clears throat> Back here, just a pair of gloves, nothing nothing special, guys. So that's kind of your main compartment. Uh, like I said, very, very useful, very well organized, very well thought out the way they did this because, like I said, a lot of pockets can be beneficial, but having too many pockets can be kind of a hindrance. Um, now, they have several options. You can do either a big side pocket over here, so for you guys that like to carry a chair with you to the range, uh, particularly if you're in competition shooting. Here's the other brass pickup bag. I just keep that in there uh, with a couple bars for food. Uh, and then we have this other big pocket down here. Um, again, good for, I keep my one of my uh, rifle dope uh, booklets in there as well as some tape for taping up targets. <clears throat> the one that I got has the mirrored thing on the opposite side. So 
the exact same setup. In there we've got our shot timer. Um, by the way, this has been a great shot timer for those of y'all that are still looking for a shot timer. Um, Competition Electronics Pocket Pro 2. Uh, that has been a phenomenal shot timer. That seems to be a, one of the most popular ones I see at the range. Um, down here, I got a staple gun and some glint tape for doing uh, optic work with uh, with night sights and lasers and that sort of thing. Uh, <coughs> then here on the front, they got another small pouch. This is just what I kind of keep my repair kit in. I've got a multi tool, some extra springs, some brushes, some cleaning stuff, stuff crap like that. Um, and then down here at the bottom, they had this hard shell in here, which is really nice. This is kind of an ammunition case. Um, and it's, again, just for throwing some extra packs of ammo, there's some nine millimeter ammo in there. Um, I've thrown some extra um, mag caddies down there just to have them on me in case somebody forgets one or I forget them or whatever it is. Um, so other than that, guys, I mean, you've got your typical clips from a, uh, from a backpack. Um, having, you know, being able to strap crap to the outside, which I'm not a huge fan of. But, uh, guys, this has been a phenomenal bag. I've really, really enjoyed it. So if you guys are looking for a new bag, this is one to consider. Uh, consider swapping over to the, to the backpack style. Um, and then also just, you know, having, having some of your gear organized. I am going to do a review coming up on these Rudy Project glasses. I just got these, and I absolutely love them. Uh, wouldn't do anything different now after having them. Anyways, guys, so that kind of covers us for the range bag stuff. Like I said, I didn't want to dive too deep into a range bag kit. Uh, we've already got one of those out there. It's actually, even though I don't particularly like that video, it's actually one of my most popular ones. Uh, but I just wanted to go over this new range bag setup. Kind of start the year off right, getting a new new video out there. Also, let y'all know about my uh, <clears throat> my other channel. Don't forget to jump over there and subscribe to that one. Subscribe to this one, too, if you haven't already done so. Anyways, good to see y'all. Uh, good to be back, actually doing some videos again. So look forward. I'll have some more videos coming up. I don't know uh, to what consistency yet I'm going to have them out. Uh, certainly have, have several out per month. So uh, be on the lookout for those. Anyways, guys, if you haven't liked this on Facebook, you'll see some updates on there as well. So jump over to, to the uh, to the Facebook page. I post all our content over there as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.